welcome back to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we are doing another fun uh, recipe at home uh, based on a, a favorite Disney recipe and so uh, a favorite Disney dish. And this is one actually, uh, today we're going to be making the tiramisu from Disney World's uh, Trattoria Al Forno restaurant which is the, at the Disney Boardwalk Resort. And this is one of our, one of our actually favorite dishes, uh, desserts to get uh, when we go to Italian places. This is a very classic Italian preparation of tiramisu, uh, which is date, one of Dave's favorite uh, desserts actually. True story. <laughs> so today we're gonna be showing you how to make the tiramisu uh, that you can get at Trattoria al Forno. And this is actually out of a brand new cookbook. Uh, this is the Delicious Disney, Disney World. Uh, this is, came out for the Disney World's 50th anniversary. And so recipes and stories from the magical, most magical place on earth. And so inside this cookbook, I just got this on our recent trip to Disney World, and they just came out with this for the 50th anniversary year. And it's got so many great stories and recipes uh, from, from restaurants all around Disney World. And this was one that I was really excited to try uh, to make their tiramisu. So you'll see on here, it just has a picture of Trattoria al Forno and then the tiramisu that you can get at Trattoria al Forno and then the recipe. It's a very simple recipe. And so I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to make this at home. And then I'll post a link down below if you're interested in this cookbook, uh, check it out. Uh, I think we got this one, we got this one in the parks, but I think you can also get it on Amazon here after the new year, so, um, and 2022. So I'll post a link down below and you guys can check it out if you're interested in, in this cookbook. So, um, so yeah, this is, this is always one of our favorite go-to desserts when we go to an Italian restaurant. And so, and we really loved the tiramisu at Trattoria Forno. And so I'll post some pictures for you guys to see our recent visit that we went with our family. Uh, it was actually on Dave and Emma's birthday. So it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, so it just takes a very few, actually very few ingredients. It's a really simple recipe. Um, but if you love coffee, uh, it's definitely a coffee lovers, you know, dessert. Uh, so you're gonna need a few ingredients. Uh, some of these you should hopefully have around the house. A few of them are more specialty ingredients that you'll need uh, for this recipe. And so a few of the things you're gonna need are six eggs. And so you see you've got six eggs and we're actually gonna separate these out, yolks from whites. So we're gonna show that, that in a minute. Uh, you're gonna need one and a half cups of sugar and you're gonna divide that up and use that throughout the recipe. You're gonna need two eight ounce ca containers of mascarpone cheese. That's what you probably don't have already. Right, right. This is a specialty item. You can find this in kind of in the cheese, uh, maybe the the um, cheese, either if you have a cheese section or if you have like a specialty I section. found it over by kind of like where like if you have aged cheddar, kind of the nicer cheeses, yeah, that's yeah. where you usually find it. Yeah, if you if you have maybe, you know, one of those sections in your grocery store, uh, you can usually find more scapone cheese. Um, and then you're also gonna need a cocoa powder. So you need cocoa powder for dusting on the top of the tiramisu. Another specialty item that you're gonna have to look for is called lady fingers. And these are Italian, uh, like uh, Italian cakes. Um, they're really, really hard. And this is really what makes tiramisu. You need to have these Italian, these Italian uh, lady finger cookies to put inside. You're gonna need one and a half cups of coffee. And this needs to be either espresso or very strong black coffee. Uh, so right now, today we're using an es uh, from our Nespresso. This is a dark, uh, uh, kind of a dark um, roast. Yeah, dark I think any coffee, any coffee so, would work, but yeah. a dark roast would probably be preferred. Yeah, yeah this is not espresso, but we, we opted for a dark roast today. And then you're also going to need uh, amaretto. And amaretto is a, a really nice nutty almond flavored liqueur. So it really adds a nice uh, nuttiness and almond flavor to the tiramisu. Yeah. So, so we've got all of our ingredients. You're also gonna need a nine by 13 pan. Um, glass pan kind of looks cool so you can see the layers inside of the tiramisu. It's really pretty when it's all done. Um, you're also gonna need some bowls, um, maybe a spatula. You're gonna need a kit, either a mixer or hand mixer or a stand mixer. And then uh, probably a couple of different tools on your mis mixer if you have a if you have a stand mixer. One a regular tool and then probably a whisk tool as well because we're going to be beating some egg whites, uh, spatula, and you'll need a tablespoon as well. For so not not a lot of not it's not really complex. Not a lot of in ingredients, but some specialty ingredients that you have to look for at your store. So all right, let's get started. <laughs> All right, so your first step you're gonna do is actually gonna be to crack your eggs and separate your whites from your yolks. So if you've never done this before, um, it it's, it's, can be a little bit messy. <laughs> so first thing you wanna, you wanna do is crack your egg. Um, if, you, if you're experienced at this, you can try to kind of move your yolk back and forth, back and forth in, in using your shells as your little covers to separate the egg white from the yolk. 
if you want to try to keep your hands from getting a little less messy. There's also <laughs> some kind of kitchen devices that'll do this. There for are. You. There's some slotted, like slotted kitchen devices that you can put the egg in and it strains the yolk out or the strains the egg white out. And so that's another another way to do it. This is just an, uh, a way if, if you want to, it's a little less messy. You can also um, just use your hands. Your hands work really well as an egg separator. Uh, so if you want to crack it and then you can actually pour the egg they into your hands. messy with Egg. You can actually pour, use your hands as a slotted spoon, put the egg yolk into your hands and it strains out the egg white and put the yolk into the bowl. So it keeps, keeps the egg whites and the egg yolk separated. You don't want any egg whites in your yolk mixture. You don't want any egg, most of all, you don't want any egg yolk in your egg white mixture because we're gonna. So once you've got your egg yolks from separated from your egg whites, you're gonna add all of your egg yolks into your mixer. All right, then we're gonna add a half a cup of sugar. Okay. Then we're going to combine this, beat this on medium high speed for two to three minutes until it's a nice light yellow color. All right, now that our egg and sugar mixture has been beating for about, about three minutes, see it's a nice, really, really pale light yellow color. So now we're ready to add in our mascarpone cheese and we've got some other ingredients we're gonna add in too. So we've got these two eight ounce containers of our mascarpone cheese. I'm gonna put that right in both containers. This is where a spatula comes in handy. Get all of that yummy cheese out of the containers and into the bowl. And this is so creamy. This is what really gives it that kind of signature flavor and creaminess for your tiramisu. Um, other recipes I've, I've seen will use cream cheese, um, ricotta. Um, this one, um, I, li I like the mascarpone. That's a very classic preparation. So after you've got your mascarpone in the bowl, you're also gonna add one tablespoon of your coffee mixture. So this is either your espresso or your dark coffee. Put one tablespoon in there. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of our amaretto. So just a little bit goes a long ways, but it's gonna add a really nice um, nutty almond flavor to your, to your tiramisu. All right, all right. So now we're going to whisk this again until it's nice and smooth and combined. And that completes kind of our cream layer. So here's what your mixture is gonna look like uh, once you've whipped it uh, with all of your ingredients combined. It's nice, light, very, really um, soft, um, smooth texture. Okay, so I'm gonna put this mixture into another bowl because we're gonna combine this with our, our fluffed egg white mixture next. And I need my mixer to add in my egg whites to whip those. All right, so next up, we are going to beat our egg whites with our sugar, and this is where you're gonna to wanna to switch to that whisk, whisk attachment uh, for your mixer to really whip these egg whites. And we're gonna add another half cup of sugar in with the egg whites. All right, so now we're going to beat the egg whites and the sugar um, on medium high speed again until stiff peaks form. And so I'll show you what that looks like. It's really gonna, it's gonna beat for a little while and you're gonna start to see it fluff up and get really fluffy and stiff peaks. I'll show you what that looks like um, because you're gonna be looking for something specific so that you've got the right texture. So we've been whipping our egg white mixture for probably about four to five minutes, I would say. Uh, but just be looking for, uh, you're looking for a specific texture. So when it says you're looking for stiff peaks, uh, whenever you lift your whisk out of, out of the mixture, you should see just that, you should see a peak. It should be able to make a peak with the egg white mixture and you'll see the little peaks. If you just kind of dip it, they, they're, if they're stiff and little peaks, then you've got the right texture that you're looking for. So now we're gonna gently fold this into our mascarpone mixture. All right, so now we're gonna gently fold our egg white mixture into our mascarpone mixture and really just let it just kind of dab, put your mixture in here and just really gently fold it in. This is gonna give us a nice, you know, fluffy, airy texture of our tiramisu, which is exactly what you're looking for. The egg whites really help it to fluff up and get a nice, soft, pillowy texture. And just gently fold that in and then you've got your cream mixture finished. 
gently fold it in on itself, just kind of taking the mascarpone mixture and kind of folding it over itself, folding it over the egg white mixture until you've got it mostly combined. And see, it's really light and fluffy. That's wonderful, it's exactly what you're looking for. You don't wanna overwork it, you don't wanna beat it. Just lightly fold it in. That looks perfect. All right, so now we're going to make our coffee mixture. And so with this, you're gonna take the remaining coffee uh, that we had, either espresso or your, or your, or your coffee mixture. I'm gonna pour this into a shallow pan. I uh, find this, or you could, you could use a shallow bowl. I mean, I think this is nice because this is what we're gonna use to dip our lady fingers into the coffee mixture. And so you kind of want something you can, where you can drench the lady fingers all the way in. Okay, so we're gonna add our, yet yeah, our coffee mixture. Then we're gonna add additional amaretto to this mixture. So another quarter cup. You can use less if you don't wanna use that much of the liqueur, uh, but it's gonna add a really nice nutty almond flavor. And so one quarter cup of the amaretto mixed in with the coffee. And then we're gonna add our remaining sugar. And so if you remember, it was one and a half cups sugar total. So we've used half a cup in the egg whites, we used half a cup in the mascarpone mixture. And so then we've got another half cup uh, to add into the coffee mixture. All right, so we're just gonna combine that sugar in with the coffee mixture, get that nice and combined. This is what we're gonna use to dip our lady fingers into the nice, drench them in the nice coffee mixture. This is really what, makes a classic tiramisu so you really want that coffee flavor to come through that's what makes it that really signature signature flavor of the dessert all right now we get into the fun part so next you're going to take your lady fingers out of the package and you're going to need 20 to 25 lady fingers depending on the size of your pan uh, this package i found came in a pack of 24 um, so that should be about perfect for the 13 by 9 pan and you're going to take your lady fingers out of the packaging and we're going to dunk them in our, into our coffee mixture. So you're just gonna quickly dip, dip until they're soaked on both sides and then start to line them up in your pan. All right, so I was able to get 12 of the lady fingers spread out on the bottom layer, soaked in the coffee mixture. Now you're gonna kind of divide your mascarpone cream mixture in half and put half of it on top of the lady fingers and then save the other half for the top layer. So we're gonna do this twice the cream layer here in the, on top. And then once you've used about half of it, then we're gonna do another lady, layer of lady fingers. And just kind of gently, this is where you can use your spatula, gently fold that in over the lady fingers, covering them up with your cream layer. This is what's gonna give it that really pretty, a really pretty look on the edge too, with all your lady fingers under there. Right now I'm gonna do a le another layer of the soaked lady fingers on top of this. And so now that we've got our second layer of lady fingers on here, we're going to put the rest of our mascarpone mixture on the top and spread this out on top. I'm just gonna evenly spread this out over the lady fingers, covering those up again. Perfect. All right, so our last step is to put on the finishing touches onto the top of our tiramisu, dusting it with cocoa powder. So a little trick that I like to do, you could do this by hand, but I actually like to use like a, a mesh strainer. <laughs> and it gives you like a really nice, you could probably use a smaller one, but I have a big one. Um, but you just put your cocoa powder into the strainer and then you can lightly dust it. Just kind of tap your strainer over, over the tiramisu and you can just lay, it gives you that really nice, like perfect, perfect dusting. So I like using just a, a trick that I found over time that, that works pretty good. <laughs> and you wanna, you could really dust it with cocoa powder if you want to, if you really want that, that chocolate flavor. Make sure you've covered up most of your mascarpone cheese all over the top. Once you've got that dusted on top, you are good to go. <laughs> All right, so now we have our tiramisu finished. So the last step is you're gonna want this to just sit in the refrigerator and soak. 
Um, this is this is really what's going to allow those lady fingers to continue to soak in that coffee mixture to let the layers really melt together. Uh, so you want to give it at least give it a minimum of three hours. The recipe says you can let it rest for up to eight hours before serving it, and so you want to give it some time to really soak and really mix in those flavors and really settle over time uh, before you serve it. So don't serve it right away. Let it sit. Put it in the fridge. Put it away. Wrap it in some plastic wrap. Set it aside, and then let it do its thing. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today for this fun tiramisu recipe. Uh, definitely a fun and easy recipe you can easily do at home with just a few extra ingredients uh, that you don't, maybe don't have around the house. Um, this is always a, a definitely a crowd pleaser, a, definitely a favorite, especially if you like coffee flavored desserts. So uh, some of our friends actually invited us over for Italian food night and so we're actually bringing this for a special dessert to try later. So thank you so much for, for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you have made tiramisu at home or if you've tried this this recipe or if you've if you've gotten this cookbook so again I've got a link down below to this cookbook if you want to check it out it's got a lot of fun recipes in it I'm excited to kind of cook my way through this book um, and I've got some fun it's got some really neat recipes and some really classic uh, recipes and and some of the favorites that you can get at Disney World so um, if you've enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button it really helps us out and uh, subscribe to our channel for more content like this I'll put a link down below to our playlist of other uh, cooking demonstrations and videos of other kind of Disney favorite snacks and, and dishes you can make at home so hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time bye guys So we are about back. Uh, so this is day two after trying the tiramisu last night with our friends uh, at their party. Uh, was, we really enjoyed it. And so now we're gonna actually do the day two test to see how the tiramisu tastes the next day. So if you take a look, here's what it looks like. Actually held up pretty good. Um, you see all the layers of the lady fingers and the coffee and the, the cream. So what did you think yesterday, Dave? Uh, that was one of the best we've, <laughs> best you've ever done. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Good. yeah, I think out of the different tiramisu recipes I've done at home, it was probably one of my favorites. I don't know, like it's been a little while since we had the tiramisu at Trattoria al Forno to know if it's exact, like if it was exactly like it, but it seemed really similar to me. I think it's it definitely really has, the, has the coffee flavors. It's got the cream going on. So yeah, just dig in there, take, take a bite, see what you, see what you think. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, still really good on day two. Mm -hmm. It's very, very coffee. Yeah, flavor. yeah. Maybe that comes through a little bit more. I don't know, but mm -hmm. yeah. No, I definitely <laughs> recommend this recipe. Yeah, definitely. If you if you like uh, coffee desserts, definitely one that you're probably gonna really enjoy. Um, and it's, but I will, I will say that it's, it's fairly like rich. It's a fairly rich dessert, mm -hmm. like a little bit goes a long way. So it's nice if you're, if you're having, um, you know, a big family event or something like that, you want something cause that makes a big 19, nine by 13 pan. So that's a lot of tiramisu. So a little bit, yeah, a little bit goes a long way. It's really nice for sharing. If you've got a big family or a big family event coming up, it'd be definitely something that would wow, I think would wow people, mm -hmm. uh, to bring to a, to a family event or something like that, but definitely. Definitely, if you love Italian food, if you love coffee desserts, definitely one to definitely one to try out. So yeah, hope you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just wanted to give you a quick re recap of how it tasted. So definitely, definitely give our our two thumbs up over purple on this recipe. Mm, this is, yeah, this is excellent. <laughs> yeah, and Dave's the tiramisu uh, kind of critic. So if the fact that he liked it, that was this will be my go-to recipe moving forward. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Bye. <laughs>